One thing is certain, the numbers are certainly disturbing. Gun violence often impacts underserved and overlooked communities all across the nation. ABC 10's lead race and culture reporter Candace Red is live in the newsroom tonight with more on how gun violence is a racial justice issue. Chris, good evening to you. When nearly 40,000 people in the U.S. die from gun violence, this is every year, and that's more than 100 people each day. Well, data also shows people of color die more from gun violence compared to white people. And you know what? Black people top the chart. Tragic is probably not even the word. I don't even know how to describe it. America is facing a gun violence crisis, and it's not impacting everyone the same. There's things like this happening all the time um, in our black and brown communities. We, we have teenagers getting killed on a daily basis or, you know, a lot, a lot more than it needs to be happening. Black people are twice as likely as white people to die from gun violence. That's coming from the CDC and data collected by the Giffords Law Center to prevent gun violence. It shows black people are also 14 times more likely than white people to get hurt in a shooting. The Black Child Legacy Campaign is a nonprofit in Sacramento working to change those alarming statistics. We have uh, programs that have been in this community all over Sacramento you know, the last 30 years, but um, we're, we're not able to serve the way we would like to by being underfunded. Kenneth Duncan with the group says they need more funding for intervention and gun violence prevention programs. I'm pondering, like, what can I do as somebody in society, as an adult? Cami Wilson, who lives in an upper Land Park housing complex, says gun violence is not unheard of in the predominantly black and brown community. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's not even unheard of me growing up. And that's what's sad. We see more deaths sometimes than men who've been in the service, who've went to serve. That shouldn't be normal. It should not be normal for our kids to see, you know, death uh, on a weekly or monthly, even daily basis. Well, right here in Sacramento, gun violence prevention advocates say more needs to be done to help protect communities of color, people who look like me, especially the youth. Well, some grassroots organizations are already doing the work, and that include the Black Child Legacy, who you just heard from, and Advanced Peace. Well, these sorts of organizations are looking for more funding, volunteers, and support overall. Chris? Mm -hmm. Something needs to be done. It certainly gets your attention when she talks about these experiences are almost like folks are in a war zone uh, with some of the things they've had to deal with throughout the years.